Hey baby, what you doing? Well, it's just gonna turn on the tree. Oh, okay. What the hell? What's going on with the tree, babe? What you do? Did the breaker break? Oh, the power's out. I mean the power's out. All right, I got just the thing for this kind of situation. Let me show you. What we got here, folks, is a gas generator with 50, 750 running watts with 7185 starting watts. It's got a seven gallon gas tank. I've got a generator cord. Let's go set that bad boy up. Now, this thing's kind of heavy, and it's got this uh, handle here that locks in place. Yeah. Man, this thing's at least. At least 250 pounds. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, folks, as you see here, this massive generator, all 400 cc's of, of power, can pretty much power anything you need. I got a single four prong twist lock for 30 amp service that's right 30 amp service here and I got six 115 two of them which are six uh, double gang 115 two of which are GFI GFCI uh, protected and they're all three prong they're all protected I'll show this to you a little bit later but I uh, ordered one of these uh, off Amazon, a generator power cord that has the uh, female or the male twist lock on this end to plug in here. And then with a handy little device for your house, you plug in the other end and you can power up to six 115, 15 amp, three prong outlets with just that 30 amp right there. It's pretty neat. So let's start this bad boy. All right. First thing you want to do is hit this engine switch. Then you're going to want to primer it. You're also going to want to make sure your petcock is all the way down. And so you got fuel running to your carburetor. You should start on one try. There you go, that's it. Now you're going to hear it right away, this thing is loud. In fact, if you're trying to be an off-grid prepper, survivalist, and you don't want your neighbors knowing you have a generator that can power your whole house, that's probably not the one for you. But there's a solution. What this is, is one of the four sides to a quiet box that I built just for this generator. So let me put it together, then I'll show it to you. Okay, first off, you're going to notice that I used uh, about half-inch OSB. Um, I used OSB because it's a lot less prone to warping and stuff, and that's why I chose. Um, and then, um, the, maybe I should talk about the purpose of this um, right off the bat. The purpose of a quiet box is to deaden the noise from one of these monsters. Now, this size generator, if you were to buy one that's designed for RVs and it's super quiet, you're going to break the bank. You're not, the average person is not going to be able to afford that. Now, you can get a little Honda 2000 or 3000, little tiny bopper generator, great. But that's, you know, that's not going to power your house. It might power your trigger and a couple other things. But the reason I got this is to power a house um, or just the major appliances in the house and uh, for emergencies and stuff. So getting back to the box... The other stuff that I'm using is some of this rock wool, uh, kind of semi-rigid, two-inch thick uh, sound deadening insulation. Now, this stuff uh, you put in the walls in, like, home theaters uh, and high-end homes that want to deaden the sound. They also sell this in, like, a, kind of a batten 
uh, 16 inch wide uh, rolls uh, or stuff that you uh, traditional kind of insulation but this is stuff that I had a mail order and I'll leave a little uh, picture of uh, the tag okay now some of the considerations you got to have an air inlet on one side okay because that generator is going to get warm and it's going to need air so um, I got this here at uh, Lowe's and it's a, it's a soft vent for like a garage or, or a workshop now the key thing here is it uh, you don't want to leave a big opening because the sound will escape uh, the air can travel around corners but the sound generally has a harder time with it so the more obstacles you give the sound uh, the better um, but as you see that it's got a screen on there too to keep the critters out um, and uh, again I'll leave the measurements and stuff uh, in the description I got the uh, top of the box right there um, I'm not using as much of that insulation um, but uh, that's it right there and I also have an exhaust outlet now I used a metal flanged uh, some similar that you would use for um, venting your exhaust of like a hot water heater or something in your home um, here's the outside and there's the uh, double walled pipe that I'm going to use in there um, and the concept with this is to let the exhaust escape um, and it's going to end up kind of buttoned up against like that of course but coming out of that uh, side there and then uh, I'll just point it upward and stuff now you might want to ask uh, well how am I going to get all that air out of there that box is going to get warm so Amazon to the rescue I bought one of these uh, 800 CFM electric fans um, pre-wired 115 volt um, all I had to do was wire up a three-prong plug um, that will actually plug right into the generator when it's running so it's kind of self-powered now here's here's the uh, neat part of this fan it's an exhaust fan and these louvers open up when it's running and they are uh, very well sealed up so if you t decide to or if I decide to leave this thing up all the time you know uh, again the, the biggest of the critters won't get in there plus there is a uh, screen on the other side see that of course all insulated pretty cool huh now they have these kind of generators that have electric starts and you could rig them with the remote switches this one I got on sale doesn't have the electric starter so I have to use the pull cord so essentially what I'm gonna end up doing is getting it to this state of buildup I'm gonna start it roll it in and then finish the assembly and we'll be good to go. significantly quieter um, I'll do a quick comparison right now from when I had it start earlier so I don't have a decibel meter I can't measure right now but I don't have to yell at you and it almost sounds like one of those Honda 3000s you know it sounds like it's muffled and the only issue I got really is the exhaust I got to refine that a little bit let me show you so I think if I routed that exhaust a little bit higher uh, spend a little bit more time on it. Uh, I got to make some kind of a quick release bracket, something that goes on there uh, a little bit more simply uh, and funnels that exhaust up a little bit higher. But from here, you know, it doesn't sound bad. It almost sounds like an RV generator, um, which are pretty quiet. Um, my Onan 4000 on my toy hauler sounds just about like this if you're standing on that side of my RV. Uh, it's about the same thing. So. This is the first time I've actually started it and ran it with that box. Uh, I'll keep you guys updated how it works out. But uh, hey, let me get back to the uh, why I really started this to see if it'll power anything. All right, on the house side, I got this uh, through wall adapter for the other end of that uh, 30 amp cord. Get you a better view of that. And uh, 
there's no power on it normally until I hook it up and right now there's 30 amps on here okay guys on the inside of the house is a 6 gang 115 and you can see I have power because these two LEDs let me know that I have good power from that generator um, when I'm not hooked up or I turn the generator off these these go cold so this is nothing more than an off-grid outlet uh, it's pretty handy I'll try to leave a link in the description about about a hundred bucks for one of these and you don't have to have an electrician installed for you because uh, it's not hooked up to the grid success Christmas is saved all right guys I hope you can pick up that sound all right I'm about halfway to my alley and about uh, halfway to any of the neighbor's fences. Uh, it's actually quieter on this side since I got the exhaust kind of pointing into those palm trees. That foliage kind of is a natural barrier to sound, so to speak. Um, I'm going to go drop the sides and let's see what it sounds like. Okay, as you can tell, that's a lot louder. So I think... I think it was worth the money, worth the time to do it. Uh, you know, you can take a tough shed or one of these smaller sheds and do something very similar. Um, I chose the easy way out and just bought some wood and did it myself. So anyway, hope you enjoy this, guys. Merry Christmas.